guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you this makeup look. This is a reverse cat eyeliner look again, but in a different shade. So this is a deep purple shade, especially for this amazing festival Raksha Bandhan. I actually wanted to recreate this look again because I wanted to experiment with a different eyeliner shade as well. And also I wanted to make it pretty easy. You can avoid lashes. I don't really recommend lashes. And I think if you try this for Raksha Bandhan, it's going to look stunning. I hope that you try it actually but before starting if you don't know me my name is Sharmeel and this is classic scrutiny I post beauty videos all the time so without wasting much time let's begin okay so the first thing I'm going to use a moisturizer today I'll be using this Nivea moisturizer this is the SPF 15 moisturizer I'm just gonna spread this on my face first just like this and then I'm going to take a damp sponge and start blending it. I'm going to mix two foundations. Both are L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation and both are in different shades. So this one is in Golden Beige and this one is in uh, Honey, I think. Yeah, Honey. So I'm going to mix these two because unfortunately I did not really get exact shade for my skin. And also I'm going to mix the Camellia Oil by Milani. You can mix any oil of your choice. I'm going to mix it on this mirror. Specifically with foundations which are extremely thick coverage and you know you are not willing to use a thick coverage on that day especially it's better to use it like this. And then I'm going to use a concealer which is exactly my shade to cover all these pigmentations which you know are completely see-through. If you think your foundation is a little bit grayish or something, you can use a concealer, which is exactly your shade on the pigmentation, okay? Mostly on the pigmentation, your foundation would look grayish. And then I'm going to use this concealer by Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Concealer, and this is in the shade Medium Beige. And then for contour, I'm going to use the Mecca Max Stick. This is in the shade Deep. To blend this off, I'm going to use this foundation brush and I'm going to spray some setting spray on this and then start blending it. I'm going to start with my forehead. Just kind of stippling it and then just um, spreading it. The reason you need to stipple it is because you need to get the shade over there. Otherwise, you will just smudge off the foundation as well. Just stipple it and then start spreading it. Once you get to know how to do contouring, this is going to be the best and the most important step in your makeup. You won't be able to live without it actually. Uh, sometimes, you know, when I show you all simple makeup, just everyday makeup, I'm not really happy with my own results because I am used to uh, contouring nowadays. So if you think my contour is looking quite harsh, don't worry. This is the first step to blending. I'm going to use a beauty blender as well. This is just to spread the product properly because the beauty blender can actually soak the product, which I don't want at all. Now I'm going to finally blend everything with the beauty blender. I sprayed a little bit of setting spray. And now this is going to help in just soaking any extra product, which is not required right now. Now you can see that it's looking less harsh. For blush, I'm going to use Candy. This is by Mecca Max. And I'm just going to apply it. And again, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender, spray some setting spray and start blending it.
Now I'm going to use this Lakme setting powder. This is in the shade Apricot. And I'm going to use this to set my whole face actually. Just use a brush or even you can use a flat sponge which you get with this. Now I'm quickly going to complete my eyebrows and I'll be right back. So let's quickly start with the eye makeup. Today I'm just going to use two or three shades for this look. It's going to be extremely simple. And the palette that I'll be using is the Timeless Beauty Chi Chi palette. And I'm actually going to pick only uh, pink shades like a little bit of light pink and a little bit of shimmer so firstly i'm going to pick up a dusty pink shade and just place that on my outer corner not really blending it just placing it over here And kind of spreading it and then I'm going to take a light pink shade and just add that on my inner corners like a baby baby pink shade also I'm just using the same flat brush I did not change my brush at all actually I don't really need to do that it's just working absolutely fine and then again I'm going to take this dusty pink shade and start spreading that um, outwards just like this not really blending it just you know just pushing it and also I'm going to dust this off on my waterline then I'm going to take a little bit of shimmer shade I'm going to place that on the center just like this next I'm going to take this deep purple shade by NYX and I'm going to apply that on my waterline And then I'll be using a brush to basically smooth this out a little bit. What do you think about this look or this eyeshadow? I think it's looking just amazing and this technique of uh, using upside down wing liner but at the same time smoking it out towards your uh, crease is also like a great idea. It actually accentuates my eyes now. When you look at my eyes right now, this is looking uh, you know, a little bit more huge. This one is looking a little bit smaller. Don't you think so? I've also darkened this a little bit. Next, I'm going to wear this pink lipstick. This is by NARS and this is in the shade American Woman. You can wear any pink lipstick of your choice. I'm wearing pink lipstick because uh, I think it's going to go with this pair. It's not completely pink, but uh, it has a pink tint to it. For highlighter, to get that overall highlighter, I'm going to use this. This is the Milani Radiant Fluse Powder. And then I'm going to use this NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So this is the final look. I have changed the lip color uh, to a little bit of a brighter pink because I think that with a brighter pink, my face is looking much more, uh, you know, brighter. And also at the same time, my eyeshadow is actually pairing up with the lip color. The lip color that I added on top, I did not remove my lipstick. I just added on top is this one. This is the NYX Soft Matte in the shade Prague. This is how my face is looking when I zoom in. If you think that, you know, you are not able to do a perfect eyeliner like a reverse perfect eyeliner you can do one thing you can use a concealer to clean the edges and make them sharp so that's all for today you guys i hope that you love this tutorial if you did you can definitely give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you feel so i'll be posting more videos every week and if you have any requests regarding any video you can let me know in the comment box below and i will see you all in my next video bye